Hey guys, what's up? Galaxy S3 Modder here. And I am back with another ROM review. I know it's been a long time. I'm sorry. I looked at my channel today and I noticed that I had about 20,000 views, a little bit less than 20,000 views. Super excited. I was just amazed by the the feedback that I've been getting and all the subscribers I've been getting and it's it, I really appreciate it. So it, it made me want to make this video for you guys. So today what ROM we're going to review, one of the most famous ROMs out there actually, and that would be Cyanogemod. And this is the newer Cyanogemod, released not too long ago. This is actually the today's nightly, if you can see. It's the 14th, you can see right there. Today's the 14th. But whenever you see this, I don't know when you're going to see this. Anyway, the main part is what we're running. That's right, you see it right there. 4.4.2 so brilliant oh so brilliant well this ROM is utterly fantastic I love this ROM everything about this ROM is great it's very fast it's very stable there's a few bugs there's a few bugs in it but overall it's a pretty great ROM alright now let's let's start with the first thing that you see when you turn on the ROM or start at the ROM. The lock screen, you get the redesigned 4.4 lock screen. It's not really redesigned, but it looks like the background is grayer. It's it, like a more profound lock screen, and this symbol has changed here. And you have all your widgets and stuff. Alright. Now, for in the launcher, you can obviously tell that this is a different launcher. This is Google Experience Launcher. And as you swipe to the left here, you have all your different information. And now, if you swipe back, you see that you have this little bar here. And you can talk to it. Okay, Google. What time is it? It's a very dumb question, I know, but it gets the point across well. Now oh, here, let me turn up my volume. Put the ringer on, put this up, put this up, make sure everything's up. Alright, let me ask it again. Okay, Google, what time is it? The time is 11.13 p.m. Right, right, how cool is that? Alright, so let's, you can't swipe out of this one, you gotta go back, but that's pretty cool. The dialer is new redesigned. It was, I thought it was a grayer. I remember it being grayer. But it's I mean, it's a dialer. It's nice. Supposedly you have the little thing where you can f search through different uh, different names of businesses and such. You can like speak to it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the album down there, that's, that's what I got from my Sony Xperia. I always have that installed because I love how you can pinch and zoom through all the different things. So that's the that's different. Basically, the camera is not new, really. I mean, the icon's new, but overall, you get just a, it's the same thing. You get the same little uh, hold it, and you get this thing. It's the same, pretty much. I mean, there's not many much features, even though. Hold on, let me clean off the screen a little bit here. A little dirty when you saw that a little bit. Alright, that's better. But yeah, I mean, the camera and the album, the uh, gallery, it's pretty much the same exact thing. But you can tell in the launcher itself that the icons are a lot bigger. Uh, Hangouts is now your default te text messaging app. You can change that back to the normal uh, messaging if you want to. That's up to you. Uh, exposed. Well, that's not exposed, that's whisper push. Where'd my exposed go? I have exposed somewhere. It does not work sometimes. If you use the exposed uh, framework mod, it does not work all the time, and I'll, and I'll show you why. Right now, we're just going to dive into the settings here. Okay, where is it at? Developer options. If you go to developer options and you get all these different things, go down here, select runtime, use Dalvik, or use Art. You can hit use art, which I'm about to do right now, actually. 
And art is basically a new runtime that does everything faster and better. Because Dalvik, what Dalvik does is every time you open an app, it produces code. And it produces a lot of code. And basically, to sum things up in a very non-specific manner, it just art produces less code and it do, it does less so therefore it's faster overall you get this really cool cyanogemod boot up symbol i think it's is it i'm gonna have to uh restart my apps optimize all my apps because that's gonna upset me if it does i'm just gonna pause the video did it shut off oh yeah it did shut off right, i'm just gonna pause it here and wait for it to turn back on and we are back. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Actually, it took about 10 minutes to do if you're going to switch from Dalvik to Art, because then it has to optimize all the apps for Art. So, basically, when you look it up, you're going to get this weird black type thing here. Don't worry about that. You open it up, you switch, you just move the thing, and you're back. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it is a bug, yeah, but does it really do anything to you? No, it's not a big deal. Alright, so let's go through here. If you install the Paranoid Android um, G apps for 4.4, it works for 4.4, 4.4.1, and 4.4.2. It all works the same. I've updated from 4.4 to 4.4.2 from the nightlies, and I haven't had to reinstall G apps once, which is good. It comes with everything. If you download the full package, you get you get your uh, you get your drive, you get all your Gmail, you get Google Plus, you get Hangouts, music, a newsstand, books, photos. Oh, uh, you get basically everything that's Google. You get it on here, even wallet. Which there's no, I don't even know why I have wallet on here. I don't ever use it. But yeah, you come with YouTube too. I think you get YouTube. I pr do you get YouTube? I don't even know if you get YouTube. I'm pretty sure you do. I mean, it's, it makes sense for them to give you YouTube. Uh, the, it also comes installed with Whisper Push. Whisper Push is a company. I'm pretty sure it's a company. It's either a company or an organization that secures your text messages. Like when you send them, it encrypts them before you send them and after you send them. Kind of say say that I sent a text message to you. Say I sent you a text message in. Basically, these people would encrypt it and make sure that it's good if it's on a verified device. This is basically because of all the NSA stuff that's been going on. People have been very cautious of what they do on the internet. So, I guess that makes sense why they're doing this. Um, sound recorder comes free. You get Keep free. Keep comes on here. Oh yeah, you get Quick Office too. Screencast, this is a mod. That basically lets you just record your screen, but I haven't gotten it to work because whenever you stop it, you go to play the video. I usually get. Whoa, it's working! Whoa, it did work. All right, screencast. That's basically it's CyanEngine's little. Uh, well, it's not CyanEngine mod. It's uh, the developer. One of the developers released this app, and it lets you record it. As you can see there, which is pretty cool. Well, let me see if I can go back and get that here. Let me just take this to side. Yeah. Whoa. Basically, let's just record your screen, but I haven't gotten it to work Do I really sound like that? Why do you guys watch my videos? Alright, uh, anyway. That's pretty cool. I got a lot of wallpapers here. It's pretty cool. And some Santa. Santa and some wheat. I don't know why I have that. My friend sent me that. Do not judge me. Alright, anyway. So we got clock here, we got it. A lot of the widgets are nice. We have this these widgets. If you want to customize your home screen, you gotta press the little menu button. And you have all this stuff here. You can't just hit this and then go to your settings. You have to have the little settings icon here because you go there. All that does is change these settings for your launcher. Which gets very annoying because I'm used to liquid smooth and liquid smooth and all that stuff. Your wallpapers, this is the one that you're using now. It comes with all the stock 4.4 .4 wallpapers. Very delightful. I like the mountain one. It's my one of my favorites right here. I like the mountain one. This one's alright. Not a, not a big fan of it. And it also comes with some different uh, things. And cyanogen model wallpapers, which are very nice. Very nice wallpapers. 
I'm gonna scroll through these real fast here. And there, yeah, you get the point. But yeah, that's pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much it. The toggles are new. You get some toggles. The features are pretty bare. To be honest with you, uh, in the, one of the latest ones, I mean, you get your lock screen stuff. You can mac you can have the widgets maximized already, so that you have to hit this. Scroll over. Um, the interface, you can change some of the things. You can change the the toggles that you have up here. You can change those. So I got my flashlight right there. It comes with torch. Everything comes with torch. Every ROM comes with torch. You get your notification drawer. All these quick settings, you can have all this stuff. You can just turn it off. Your brightness, you can do here. Turn up the brightness. I'm actually going to keep it like that. It's easier for you guys to see. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, though. And then you have this little buttons thing, which is very freaking helpful for me. Because when I have illuminate buttons, right, screen, it times out in five seconds. Right, so let's just wait a few seconds for it to go off. Right, it goes off, and then you touch the screen, and then it goes back on. It's the most annoying thing that I've ever had. I can't stand that. Because if you're just, if you're reading a text message, and it goes off, and then you go to reply, and it comes back on, it's like flashing at you every time you use your phone. And I can't stand that, so I always keep it off. For the few days that I ran this before they included that, I was dying. I was I was going to go back to 4.2.2 because of that. It was It was bad. But yeah, I mean, they have all this stuff, and then they have... All these developer options that show everything. Like you can change like your uh all the debugging stuff. You can change the input, you can change you can do show touches. You can't really see that, but the little dot where I touched. Yeah. The pointer location does like a grid. I don't know what the point I don't know what the point is of that. I guess it's it's obviously more for developers than I would know. You can change the animation, how long it it does for you like for me to go back changes how long you can overclock it obviously you can change all this stuff minimum frequency and the lowest frequency i usually have it overclocked but yeah i mean that's that's pretty much this rom i know it's been a long review i'm sorry about that but yeah i mean this is cyan jamad one but well, i once again would like to thank you guys thank you so so much for sticking with me Throughout the past few months, I know I haven't released anything. I promise I'll get back on that soon. But, yeah, for the meantime, check out my website, galaxyst3mod.webs.com. I recently added in the article, the written review of this ROM, with a, but it doesn't go into as much detail. So I'll be posting this video soon. I changed the background, and I'm going to be uploading all the videos on there. We got the forums on there. If you never need to contact me, all my information's on there. So if you ever need me, that's that's where you go. Alright guys, thank you very much, and I will see you soon.